I'm just going to say it. Hiring managers are completely delusional right now. This was literally the first job that popped up for me in my LinkedIn feed on jobs. Look at all these responsibilities. This is for a single job opening. They want this person to do all these things. Oh, and here's their wish list of all the traits that they want this one person to possess. Oh, and but what they offer. I- I'm sorry. Why is it so much shorter? This mom has upset everyone by the listing that she posted and the requirements to be her child's babysitter. So I promise you are going to laugh at this. It says babysitter needed ASAP. I need someone to watch my four kids ages two, three, five, and seven from noon to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. So six hours a day. Here are the requirements. Must be a great cook and avid cleaner. Must be over the age of 25. Minimum education to be a babysitter, master's degree, no social media accounts. I don't need my kids being exposed to that. No tattoos or piercings. You need five professional references. Background check and drug tests will be conducted. With all of these requirements, this pay better be more than some full-time jobs. This job pays $200 a week. $200 a week? must have owned transportation to get to and from while also running my errands. Please call Tammy. Now I'm no math whiz, but six hours a day for five days a week is 30 hours of work and $200 divided by those 30 hours equals $6.66 an hour. Would you do this job for that? I got a notification from LinkedIn that said Poosh is hiring an executive content assistant. And I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. So I look into it and the requirements are ridiculous. I should have expected this, but look. Spoiler alert, this is only half of the requirements of this assistant role. Some things that make sense, okay, day-to-day administrative duties, sure. Um, Handling all photo approvals and communication and relaying the information to the team. Coordinating to deliver requests. Yeah, like communication things, assistant things. But then it's like plan, coordinate, and produce monthly shoot. Next page, managing ADX for Google Ads. Overseeing and managing legal info and regulatory compliance. It's also like brand manager work here. Actual content creation on top of everything else that's been going on. Project management as an assistant. This is a lot, right? Like, uh, I think we've all seen LinkedIn, you know, listings that list way too many responsibilities for like one single person who I bet's not even getting paid that much, but I'm not wrong, right? Like this is pretty wild. Stop doing this. Stop doing this. This is not one job. This is not two jobs. This is three whole jobs. What in the world? You have social media manager. You have the public relations manager and the content creator. That's three jobs. What in the world is happening? And also that salary from this job And that mid-senior level? Oh no, baby. It couldn't be me. Would you do it? If you are posting jobs, I need you to be so fucking for real with me right now. There is a job listed for $130 for six weeks of work. And it, it, it makes it very clear that you get like $21 a week or whatever. For $130 for six weeks of work, master's degree required. PhD preferred. PhD preferred. Are you fucking kidding me? $130. Ma'am, I can't buy groceries for $130. Or sir, or whomever. I mean, get it together. I don't understand what's wrong with these companies. I mean, look at this job description, no job hoppers, no one that's been laid off. They're asking for not just a college degree, but a good GPA from uh, from a top school or excellent grades at a mid-tier school. Now, you would think this was some sort of like really rigorous job, but it's for an office manager role that also has some like recruiting responsibility. That's the job. And what's wild is that the recruiter posted this on a thread For someone who was laid off, who's like looking for opportunities, and they posted this. I actually called them out and they had like an explanation that was that their client has these requirements. And the thing I would say to any recruiter is you are responsible for educating your clients. You are responsible for pushing back and not working with people who have these sorts of really biased um, expectations for their jobs. I don't know. Just do better. Saying a 
job is remote and then saying that you have to live in a specific state that's not remote, it's work from home. There's a difference. Having a salary range from 60000 to 120000 is not a good faith range. You're being an asshole. 12 days of PTO is not a benefit. It's the bare fucking minimum. You cannot require five years of experience and call it entry level. That is not entry level. That's associate mid-level. And stop playing in our faces with these degree requirements. If I have a master's degree and you think you're going to pay me $60,000, kindly go fuck yourself. I'm going to show you something that we all know but is now being acknowledged. The Wall Street Journal is recognizing that job listings abound, but many are fake. The article goes on to say that they surveyed hiring managers to figure out why these job postings are even being posted. The article states three reasons. One, it makes the company look like it's growing. Two, they're holding these possible employees over current employees' heads and saying, we're going to fire you and hire one of them. And three, they're doing it to keep them in your back pocket. In case someone quits, they can just quickly hire someone. So just know, if you're applying for jobs like me, you're being put in their back pocket for when someone inevitably leaves so that you can be underpaid and overworked. It will be depending on experience. Pay will be low. We offer competitive compensation. We don't. This is a mission-driven organization. Seriously, you're gonna be offended when you see the offer. There will be lots of opportunities for growth. None of them involve raises. You have a chance to get in on the ground floor of something really exciting. We're gonna try and convince you that you can pay your rent with stock options. Can someone tell me why I was filling out this random job application and they thought it was appropriate to ask me this question? Um. So I just applied for this job and literally a minute later, they sent a deny email. Applied. Thank you for your application. Denied. Thank you for your interest. What the fuck is going on? This is fun. A staffing firm in Virginia put a job posting up on Indeed asking for only white candidates. The now obviously viral post has sparked some outrage, as you can see here. <laughs> it's like, what the? F what are people thinking? You can see here it's for a Salesforce business analyst and in insurance claims role, and Arthur Grand Technologies is the staffing firm. Now, obviously, they're posting it on behalf of a client, so I'm not sure if the client was the one that gave them this direction, but it's pretty bad. And in it, it's a $75 an hour contract based in Dallas. Now here's where it gets really interesting. And hopefully you guys can see this, but it says only born US citizens in parentheses white who are local within 60 miles of Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Don't share this with the candidate. So in other words, it looks like this client, whoever hired this company, sent them a job description with these directions. And this company actually posted this job on Indeed as a live post with their name on it. Now, as one might expect, it's gone completely viral. People are absolutely blowing this company's socials up to the point where they've not only deleted the posting, but they've actually deleted their website and all of their social media accounts. And that's before they came up with the excuse of, oh, it was a junior recruiter who didn't double check the posting. They've since been fired. And then that quickly morphed into, oh, it was actually an employee that went rogue and posted this without us knowing about it. Nonetheless, the damage has absolutely been done on this company, and I'm wondering if this is going to sink them. And I think what's most shocking of all is that there's actually companies out there who still have this mindset that they're going to discriminate so blatantly. But then it begs the question that this company actually fills this role as somebody who's a not a diversity candidate. How is that going to be perceived? I wonder how many diversity candidates would actually follow through with an application for a company like that. But needless to say, this one job posting has probably put a company out of business. Isn't that interesting? This stuff is absolutely unbelievable. You can't make this up. I need to know if anyone else feels this way or if I'm just self-conscious in my head. A bachelor's degree in 2023 is what a high school diploma was in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. A master's degree in 2023 is the old bachelor's degree. And then any degree further, whether it's additional certificates, a doctorate, whatever, is what you have to have in order to be taken seriously and to move up. Job duties include loading and unloading the office dishwasher, lifting 100 pounds, and the one at my personal home. Maybe more? Play your cards right. We might pay you. Begins and ends at $7 an hour. Hours remain to be seen. <laughs> they are decided by a wizard who lives in the caverns below. Regardless of those hours, this is part-time. No benefits, you greedy little brat. Requirements. Able to have fun at work. Must know the new math that my son is learning at school. To answer the question, what would you do if I was there? The care and the keeping of you. Be able to kickflip. Don't lie.
We've had a lot of people lie about that one. Sit for long periods of time. No, Ollie is fine. We're willing to train. Stand for long periods of time. Experience with Microsoft Office, as well as Windows. 95. Crab walk for long periods of time. Pirate any movie upon request. Pogo stick for long periods of time. It can have occasional bad breath, but not that one kind. Ability to remain professional, kind, and courteous, especially when faced with Civil War reenactors. Instead of receiving one big salary, only one, you'll be getting two smaller salaries that do not equate that one. But that's two, and that's better than one, isn't it? Sounds pretty good to me! My resume and cover letter. Are you gonna look at it? No, I, I, I actually can't read it. What do you mean? I have everything in there that you need to determine if I should get the job. <laughs> You're funny. I, what? I'm, I mean, it says to upload my resume and cover letter here. Look, look below. Uh, there's a next button. Yep. Okay, next. Why, why do all these bubbles have like the same questions as the information on my, my resume and cover letter? Like, why, why am I going to fill this out when I already have it in my documents that I've uploaded? So that I can read it. Then why do you need me to upload it? I don't know, so we can see that you actually made one. You realize that making me do all of this extra work is really turning me off from this job, right? Yeah, that's the point. Isn't the goal to find a good candidate? Do, do you want the job or, or not? Well, I mean, I, I don't know now. Yeah, the job market's pretty bad out there. Are you threatening me? No, it's just reality. All right, I'll fill this out. Great, you'll hear back from us in four to six weeks. What?